Okay guys, uh, welcome back to new tutorial video. In the uh, previous video, we saw how to do the navigation stack in uh, uh, NVIDIA Ice Cross. And uh, we see how to launch the uh, always for controlling the NVIDIA cart and robot and navigate into the uh, warehouse setup. Uh, that's a previous video. And continuation of that video, uh, in this video, we are going to see how to do the data annotation and uh, object detection uh, using a 2d finder uh, package uh, this is an, uh, i also posted the blog on uh, medium in that uh, i explained the step st uh, steps uh, which involve to make the object recognition and object detection and uh, data annotation for those things and in this blog i will explain the sequence of the work in ic cross we need to launch with the cortex with the camera depth cam and we need to launch a finder object uh, 2d package and after that we need to do the uh, data annotation after that we need to save those annotated data and it will be uh, trained inside the 2d finder object and the object will be recognized by the trained model so that's a flow of uh, thing and here uh, a table of content is uh, for understanding how it will be work like a sub subscriber and publisher thing uh, simple uh, or uh, flow uh, like here you can see our uh, camera omni node publisher is an uh, depth cam which is uh, placed in the uh, cortex robot and the topic will be published with the uh, to the finder to the object is a subscriber the package which is uh, need to find the objects and need to do the data annotation so the camera will be send the information to the finder object uh, is a flow and we need to install the finder object by using this command is uh, sudo apt get install ras noity finder uh, object 2d uh, this is a package uh, installing for object detection and already i uh, posted on youtube video based on how to do the object detection using a webcam using a finder 2d object uh, thing okay yeah. okay we'll uh, start with some practical explanation okay open your eyes across in your system and make a viewport into two the camera one and another one is with your robot and type ROS topic list you can see here uh, we have a RGP left is our camera input you can type ROS topic or RQD or RQD uh, here you can see our topic uh, for camera topic is rgp underscore left is our camera topic we need to subscribe this topic with the 2d finder package okay uh, that's a task we need to finish okay for running the package we need to launch this command ros run finder object 2d finder object 2d image that's an uh, rgp is an uh, topic to we need to subscribe with the uh, node so we need to launch this to launch uh, you can see the information which shared with the finder object uh, package okay to minimize ties across and this uh, and this is an uh, object oh sorry uh, image which is shared with from the a robot publisher to the subscriber of uh, uh, finder object so we need to do the data annotation uh, for object detection so go to uh, edit and add a object sign and take the pick after taking pick we need to annotate this box view next click end it now uh, it detecting this box after another one time you need to do like this go to add the object click the pick and make the annotation and next end it so it will be detect those spots uh, we need to move the robot now uh, go to terminal and type ROS topic oh, sorry uh, ROS run tell you we need to move the robot right uh, ROS run tell you to sticky board go dot file and after this uh, uh, 
how we can move the robot by using a keyboard right okay now we need to do the annotation for this track this track uh, go to edit add a sign take a pick and make the annotation of this track and end it with now it will detect so like that we need to train the models and we need to do the annotation now move the robot Okay, we have some palletizer here for transporting the uh, goods from pallet to the ASRS area. For that, uh, we need to do some annotation for this. Like that, we need to train the object, and after this, uh, we need to we have another one task to follow those object which we already trained and we already uh, modulate and with the uh, data annotation uh, we need to save those picture and we need to train our robot to follow those commands which is given by the object detection algorithm sorry some time we need to give add object sign take pick annotation next end it now it is detecting okay last one last okay after uh, find out in the palette uh, we need to train this boxes area palletizing area so take a pick and do the annotation and give next now it will detect by the robot so uh, we need to save these images right uh, here uh, save the objects after saving this object uh, we can train the object with these annotation uh, models uh, from the finder 2d object uh, data so that's the thing uh, we need to follow for object detection and in the blog you can see the conclusion area or here you need to label the data captured by the camera which will be uh, processed and by the finder 2d object to identify and uh, annotate the object within the captured image so this is a task we did right and and here final uh, conclusion is after completing this medium blow you the ice across with an uh, efficient system to recognize object you should also be able to determine the recognize object related to the camera data and annotation of the data or the object detection okay what is the next task uh, after this uh, we need to make the robot to train uh, to follow the object uh, for example uh, or of ob object avoidance uh, we are using a LADA sensor for doing the obstacle detection and the uh, object collision avoidance so that's the thing but using a vision camera uh, we can uh, do the same thing uh, we are using an Intel rail sensor on this simulation so Intel rail sensor have on uh, major advantages it will be localized the uh, object also and it will find out the range between the robot and the object so distance between the robot and the object will be find out by the real sense ok that's a point I uh, explaining ok next continuation of this video will be based on how to do the obstacle detection uh, we did the obstacle sorry uh, how to do the object recognition and obstacle avoidance using a uh, trained model of a finder 2d image ok thank you